Okay, so this is my interviewee for my digital oral history project, Anna Pastor. Um, first question, um, how long have you been here in the United States? Um, going on four years in March. Going on four years. Um, so you've been here since 2012? Yes. Right? Yeah. Oh, 2012, yeah. Okay, so um, how was your experience moving here in the United States? It's fun. There's a lot of new stuff that I experienced that I didn't experience when I was in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. what, was yeah. your, um, what was your idea of United States Well, um, before you moved here from what it actually is when you got here? Well, because like, I never pictured myself living here. I just pictured myself going on vacations here. <laughs> and then, yeah, so what I thought of America was like... Um, it was like an easy life, I guess, you know? An easy life. Easy an life. easy life, yeah. An easy life where you can get a lot of opportunities and stuff like that. Um, they said you'll be more independent rather than living in the Philippines. Did you Did you become, do you, you think? Yeah, you I, I think I did. Like, I over overcome a lot of stuff that I didn't know that I was able to do like driving uh -huh. Ooh, and so like you learned to drive here yeah it was my first time driving here and then um, I didn't even know what I wanted to do in my life so yeah I discovered what I wanted to do in my life like grow, yeah when I got here so um, well, um, what did you do when you when you came here what was or like what was your motivation when you moved here well, I didn't have any motivation to move here. It was, um, I was just having family problems. And then my mom was already living here. And then my brother and sister moved here. My younger brother and sister moved here. And my mom wanted to move me here since I've been living a little bit fun in the Philippines. <laughs> okay. How old are you? I'm 23. 23. 23. You've been here four years. Four years, yeah. I was I was like nineteen when I moved here. Yep. 19. Pretty. So were you were you in school before you moved here? I was in school. I was taking up um, Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management when I was in the Philippines. And then when I came here, I wanted to go to school right away because I had one more year left to graduate in college. But then I realized that, or I started to realize that um, I can't get the education I've done in the Philippines and bring it here I had to go through a lot of stuff the system and, is different and, yeah and then um, I have to pay four times um, the money that um, the people pay here mm -hmm. in regards to compare I mean compared to me oh did you um, come in as a uh, did you come in as an international student or yes I was considered an international student if I didn't have a year of residency here. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So on my second year, I I went back to school, and so right now I'm still in school, nursing. Uh, so, <laughs> so you're graduating in? I'll be graduating to this year's 2016, right? Yeah. 2017, 2018. Yeah, 2018, 2018. Yeah. How's the education experience for you? Um, did you have, did you experience any difficulty interacting with other people? Maybe cultural differences or barriers? Probably um, language barrier, yes, and also the technology. So, like one thing I've learned, like probably this year, when I was um, I was taking up statistics, and then in the Philippines we didn't have graphing calculator. And so to do I it manually. we had to do it manually in the Philippines. And so when I came here, I got introduced with a graphing calculator, <laughs> and it felt like a trophy in my hand. Yeah. Okay, so um, moving here in the in California, how has living here shifted your point of view of your home country? 
did like do you still associate do you still um consider yourself being a member of the Filipino culture or do you think you've already um become a part of the American culture right now as of now yeah I feel like I am moving to the American culture you're embracing Um, uh, yeah I'm embracing the American culture now um why do you think so like right now um it's because of the Filipino government I do not really agree what's going on with the Filipino government but then like if you compare it here as well in America the president the presidential candidates we have right now is a total um I don't know I don't like it too but then like in terms of like laws and everything I think I'd rather live I'd rather live here in America than in the Philippines yeah are you um so you're um who, who do you think are you gonna vote for for the election if you're going to vote if Wait, I if, if I was going to vote neither uh, I don't know neither exactly. yeah if yeah. you had the opportunity to vote, you, you, you wouldn't. I think I would vote for the independent candidate or like a third party candidate. Third party yeah, candidate, yeah, I, I wouldn't vote neither of them too. Yeah. <laughs>